tell you I could bottle that. Lovely. Cuckoo! Hey friends, we got the old Pioneer out today. We got this big log we're working on here. But we're gonna put some of the old, it's very rare you come across a log like this, friends. So it's just, you know, you, you might as well have a go at her. I haven't started the old uh, one ton here. And I call, I call uh, Harvey's the, the one ton. You know what I'm saying, friends? So, let's have some fun. Let's double check our view. Choker. You can hear the birds chirping. Good morning to you, friends. Um, we're, 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 we're booked. We're booked for, for uh, here, let me just put you guys here. Sorry, friends. There. We're booked for, for Nova Scotia. And uh, check this out. Oh, the sunshine. Um, I'm just going to dive straight into this freaking video, friends. It's the, uh, it's the P-51 that Harvey built for me years ago. And, and it, is a, it is a scary saw. It is a complete freight train, friends, this thing. Um, it, it struggled getting oil this particular day, but I was not gonna let this log go by in my life without br uh, breaking out some of the big saws. So let, let I could ramble all day long on this interjection or we can just dive right in. This is a P51, which in my opinion is one of the, the strongest stock saws ever built and brought into uh, the world. A Pioneer P51. Uh, ported by Harvey and you all know the saw and this is the log to, to get it out and dig in. Enjoy this freaking uh, saw. Well, friends, so making these big bucks, you'll notice when I start the buck, friends, I'm looking down the bar perpendicular, like to the tree. You, you've got to stay on your buck. You guys have heard me say this so many times. Stay on your buck. If you don't stay on your buck, you're going to end up cross bucked, double bucking. You're going to end up all over the place. You've literally got to stay on your buck in these big logs or you're just, you're gonna think you're bucked and you're not gonna be bucked. Buckety buck buck. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. 
So friends, she she's starting to struggle for oil here. That's a big long bar, and it's a it's a pioneer, so it, it's the, the bar is not designed for the power head. And I've I've drilled a hole. Um, so it, when you're in a big, huge long, you'll never notice that buck in small wood. That that thing will feed itself all day long with a, with normal just normal wood. But in a big buck like this, you're gonna you got to keep your oil going to the to the barn doesn't have a an oiler like like an extra oiler so she starts getting a little dry here we play around a little more
everybody. All right, that was that. Wow, friends, it is so freaking hot. It's glorious out right now. The sun's beating down on us. Um, one or two more videos on this log and she's done. We're, we're in it now. We're in the big stuff. And I actually break out the 500i coming up it, because these old saws are fun. But friends, the older I get and, the, and my body, the more I want a saw to start in a couple of two, three pulls and that's not gonna bother me. That's why I'm in love with my 572. Uh, the 500 is another number that's nice, few pulls. And just my saws that start, I, I, I'm starting to, as much as I like playing around with my hot rods and the screwdriver and all this and that, and I'll never stop doing that, but when you need to get to work and get work done, you, you, these saws that fire up and run and you can put them down, talk to somebody, go back, grab them, start them, not have to choke them or turn a screwdriver or do something, they're wonderful. Friends, work hard, be honest, and be kind. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for being here. Thanks for shopping at buckandbillyray.com. It's helping us out big time right now, especially on this journey we're going on. We love yous. See you on the next one, friends.